my hands steady I feel ready but my legs heavy I don't get it how come I haven't hit it already still working I'm still Hi guys ready. Andy Elliott welcome to the one percenter podcast today I'm here with my boys with Omni Power now Omni it's it's about four years old right three Correct. three and a half four years old and you guys have been together before that you guys got together you built this together you guys are kicking ass what I love about these guys they're here with me in Scottsdale Arizona they're right here so I see them all the time they bring their guys over they do training we kick butt if you ever want to be close to me there'll be an opportunity during this video for you to be super close to me and have the opportunity to make low six figures mid six figures high six figures even seven figures but I want to take you guys on a journey you guys are 26 years old both of you you're two days apart you guys are killing it you're crushing it I mean tons of 20 year olds right now are like dude man I want to change my life but you guys have built this company and people that are older are joining your company, they're making a lot of money, they're changing their life, they're joining your culture. People that are younger, that you guys have 18 year olds, you guys have girls that are killing it, right? Yep. But but you guys are just doing so amazing. I wanted to share you guys with the world. I know there's a lot of people right now, they get inspired by watching other people win. So this is gonna be a great podcast for that. But then also secondly, I think there's a lot of people, because you guys are always looking at growing and building your team, and you are looking for people actively that aren't even in the solar industry. Correct. You're looking for a certain type of human being that like believes what we believe, that operates with good intentions, that has integrity, that has good energy, that wants to be a winner, that's not afraid to work hard, who wants to make a lot of money, take care of their family, be great to their team. You guys are looking for these people. I think that's why you guys are growing so fast because you're not like, we're looking for the closer salesmen all around the world. You're like, dude, we're looking for good people. And, and all these solar companies are trying to be real salesy and you guys are just educating people on solar and your numbers are going through the roof. Your people love you, your culture's amazing. So guys, we got the uh, OmniPower team here and uh, explain your relationship together a little bit. You know, like, um, you know, uh, you own it, right? Is that yeah, right? we own it together. You We're 50-50 okay. partners. So, yep. so he's the wild one. He's more the re more reserved. They're both dangerous and deadly, 26 <laughs> years old. They're both my brothers. They're super amazing. Um, you know, I love his wiriness. It reminds me of me when I was his age. Fair deal. Right? But then he's got the methodical brain. He's like oh, yeah. thinking it out, analytical. Let's punch some numbers. Exactly. You know what I mean? He's like, let's go sell some shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, so I love it. You guys are a dangerous uh, duo together. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yin and so, yang, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's it, man. And and that's what makes everything work. So exactly. uh, let's rock and roll, man. Let's start with a little bit about like when you guys built Omni Power, what was your vision? I know you guys are killing it now. We'll get into that. But let's just talk about what was your vision and um, let's just talk about how cool y'all's life is and and let's roll 100 percent. absolutely man so you know at the beginning of omni power it all formulated because we had done business together in the solar industry before but the company we were with it was led by someone who didn't carry the same morals and principles that we valued yeah. cole and i we take sales as not just an opportunity to make money and become successful we take it as an opportunity to help and yeah. serve people and help other individuals get into a circumstance where they can take care of their family and be the best individual they can Jeez. that's why our company is not just a sales organization we're a self-growth organization we're not just focused on putting more money in our guys pockets we're focused on making them a better individual all around getting them in the gym every single day getting them to eat healthier getting them to treat their families the way that they need to be treated and taken care of that is the goal of omni power and that's why we're all able to grow with each other and you know become better individuals together every single day because we all have that same goal of becoming the most elite person we can and you know when you're all focused on that same end goal together and you're all keeping each other accountable it becomes a lifestyle and that's why we're able to attract other individuals who carry that same vision and mindset because that's what we put out there yeah it's amazing yeah. guys 26 years old kick ass leaders and I 99% of you out there right now I want you to drop a comment below if that's the mindset you have just be like dude I got you I totally understand and uh, let's talk a little bit about like the yin and yang 100% right? he's he I know you eat what you kill in solar he's got that energy that drive or really in any industry you eat what you kill right in sales whatever um, let's talk about a little bit on your end um, what you handle day to day, what kind of what he handles day to day. Definitely. So when it comes to our day to day operation, I would say that Will is handling the sales team, mm -hmm. right? He does the internal stuff. He makes sure that the sales guys are locked in. He's making sure that they're going to the gym. Just like he said, he brings the family together. I deal more on the external stuff. I keep our relationship with our partner strong. I make sure that 
all of our stuff is coming in proper. I make sure that our accounts are managed and I make sure that all the new sales reps that are coming in are coming into a process where they can be successful, Shoot. right? because anyone can go recruit a random sales guy, but is that sales guy gonna come in and actually see success? And I Huge. need to make sure that we have a system that breeds success. Jeez. And yeah, and the reason that it's so important to me is because coming up, I've actually owned a couple different sales companies yeah. and the first company that I started failed like it did. Mm -hmm. I had my best friends working for that company yeah. and I watched them make no money. I made a ton of money, but yeah. they made nothing. Yeah. And I watched them all quit and jump out of sales. And because of that, I told myself, I will never let that happen again. I made it my life's mission to build a system where people can come in of all shapes and sizes. It doesn't matter who they are. Mm -hmm. All that matters is who they become after they come in, if that sure. makes sense. So yeah. it's, I'm all about the Get, systems, getting baby. Getting paid yes. is, is super important. And that's where I see exactly what you're doing, making sure people are getting paid, making sure that the relationship stay good so people get paid. And then also making sure that um, the systems and processes, you can't grow a company without systems and processes. And I see a lot of great sales guys, exactly what you did. 99% of my friends that have big businesses, they all failed owning their own first business. They were great at sales but they just couldn't get anybody else's pay because they couldn't figure out how to reduplicate themselves. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the biggest issues. Yeah, if you're great and then, you know, like you don't know how to make these people great or how to help make it where these people can onboard easily and kick ass, Yep. then, you know, it's just heartbreaking because you let everybody down and you have good intentions. You just don't understand because you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, you exactly. own a company. It's 100% true. And something I love about Will and my relationship is just our loyalty to each other. Like we've been with each other for over five years. Shoot, so we man. worked for the other company, like he was saying, and now we started OmniPower together. And we've been with the same partner for four years. Like you said, our company's four years old. A lot of these other companies will jump from one opportunity to the next. Mm -hmm. They'll be chasing the best comp plan, chasing the best market, whatever it may be. We've been so loyal to each other and our partner that we've been able to build something really special and beautiful because of that because there's something special mm -hmm. about locking in with the same people and doing the same thing over and over and over again your loyalty is awesome a hundred percent man it's the reason that we are where we are today it's not like anything that i'm doing is more special than somebody else or at least has the potential to be more special it's just because of the relationship that the relationships that i've formed with him and with our other partners and with mm -hmm. our sales team are the most important thing to me like at the end of the day yeah, and, and you take care of them. 100%. We have to. Yeah. You have to. They well, come first. I listen, eat last. Yeah. I interview a lot of people, and I see people that are 20, they're 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Most of the time, if we're lucky, we'll get one person in a company that's like him or like him. But if you don't have him, it doesn't work. Yep. And then if you don't have him, it doesn't work. 100%. And no one has both. We hold each other accountable. Yeah, it's man. 100%. I think you guys are like this. I mean, that's what makes you guys so dangerous, 100%, man. 100%, man. We talk about it a lot, being opposites in a lot of ways. It, mm -hmm. it really allows us to have the perfect partnership. It's like two different perspectives on it, everything. Exactly. We, we, we keep each other grounded, right? He has an idea, and I see the other's perspective. I have an idea, he sees the other perspective. So mm -hmm. it really allows to make that perfect partnership. And something he talked about that I wanted to talk about real quick, because I think it is a really good point is we learned quickly in the beginning of our relationship in solar that mm -hmm. a, a, a company name a brand a company that's all it is it's a brand right anybody can leave take that shirt off at any time if they have issues or they don't like the leadership and what we learned was a culture a family that dynamic it's so much stronger than <laughs> a brand a name whatever people are wearing on their shirt that is what causes loyalty and when we were with our last solar company the founder he didn't carry a lot of the principles that we carried and that's why we left him and we saw that every single person in that company everyone not one person stayed with him they all joined us and that's 
because we weren't the owners of that company, right? We weren't the founders of that company. We were the ones who built the culture. We were the ones. You were the leader. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so leaders aren't given a title. Leaders are chosen by their people. And yeah. we learned that quickly. I just, I just did a training on this uh, positional leadership versus like moral like moral authority exactly right like you are the leader you don't need to tell anyone the way that you act the way that you carry yourself the way that you self-lead the way that you operate all those things and you don't need a title because a follower is somebody who voluntarily voluntarily decides to follow somebody without money involved exactly those people they weren't interested in money they were interested in staying with their leader right okay now positional authority or positional leadership is like i have a title i'm your boss and people will work for a boss for a paycheck but they won't give blood, sweat, and tears to a boss. 100%. Exactly. And honestly, we're in an era right now. I know like some people need to be micromanaged, but people right now, they want to be trained, they want to be grown, and people want to be... They want to be led. Yeah, yeah, and inspired led. at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, you have super a boss. important. Man. The fact yeah. you're inspired, that just shows me how, how, how far you guys are along. People want to be inspired, not motivated, inspired. Inspired 100%. means someone is inspiring to show them what's possible. You guys are 26 years old, and you guys have built this. Like, dude, you guys are like 20 years ahead of me, 100%. right? I mean, you're like five lifetimes ahead of me. When I was 26 years old, man, I was causing trouble. <laughs> I was making money, but I wasn't smart. And it's because I didn't have a leader present. Right. You know? And so the fact that you guys are great leaders, like anybody that joins you, like you grow them. They may be in their 20s, but they're 40 here. Let's talk about some stories of some okay. people that have joined y'all's company a little bit, because I think that'll explain kind of the culture a little bit, right? 100%. Um, you know, I, I love talking about girls because girls kill it in y'all's industry. Um, but let's start out with like the police officer. I like that. I like that. Yeah. You want to tell the story too? Because, because yeah. a lot of people here, uh, they're, they're salary people. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, I make 60 grand a year, you know, whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's safe. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. You know, um, let's kind of talk about a couple people that have joined y'all's company and uh, what life looks like now. Yeah, man, there's so many great stories and that's why we love running this. But one that comes to mind is a guy named Tim and he started with us about a year ago exactly. Mm -hmm. And he came from, you know, he's ex-military, ex-police officer, has three kids. He's a family man, about 45 years old yeah. and just one of the most genuine people I've ever met. And when he came into our company. Opposite of a salesman. Right. Exactly. Okay. Like, like everybody yeah. remember this. Opposite of a salesman. Right. Tim, militant, dad. Right, ex cop, ex cop, yeah. 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 Right, like I mean, absolutely not a solar salesman under any way, shape, or form. And I want to get that point across because it's not the solar bros. It's it's oh, yeah. it's, it's 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 a real company, one hundred percent. And yeah. I think that people like they don't see that it's a real company that educates people on solar, and you can make as much as you want. And yeah. here's what was really cool about Tim. He we didn't know this at the time until a few months after when he started really killing it with us. But he told us a few months in that when he joined Omni, he looked at five other companies mm -hmm. and he talked to five companies. He went to their interviews, the orientation. And he said of all five, we were the only one that had our systems dialed in. We had our training programs dialed yeah. in. He said he showed up and he felt like it was an actual company that mm -hmm. he had the opportunity to do whatever he wanted Jeez. in his life. And hearing that gave me so much validation that we are doing the right thing for these guys coming in. And mm -hmm. then seeing Tim come in and go from his first month making 20,000, second month making 30,000. Now the guy makes over $40,000 every month. And he's calling me saying he's taking his family on vacation. He's telling them, buy whatever you want, no cap. That is what makes me so happy to be an entrepreneur. Seeing someone That's like that stuff. change their life and have all this excitement and joy and being able to do all these things for their family that they couldn't do before, that's why we do what we do right there. 100%. How happy is he? He's the happiest I've ever heard this guy in the whole year I've known him. He's and always got a big he's smile. He's always just face. got a huge smile and he's always, yeah. th this is what's so incredible. When you have a guy like that, who's talking to the rest of the team, like he's the founder of the business, mm -hmm. you know he's he's locked in. You know he's passionate about that. He talks to our guys like he's Cole and I, like he founded this thing, like he has been in the industry for five years, but he hasn't. He's a year in, he just got it. He just outworks everyone, and he does what's necessary to go out and get that. Well, he's bought in because you guys changed his life. Right. Yeah. You know, you gotta realize the military, there was a lot of purpose there. Being a cop, there was a lot of purpose there. But those things just couldn't give his life, his family, kids, wife, financially that next level, which is okay. Everything's not about money. But now he's got purpose. He's serving people, helping them. They're saving money. 
Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're listening to my brothers right now talk about this level 10 earning opportunity, changing your life, being around awesome people, like all the things that it takes to be great and be successful. It is 2024, the time that we're shooting this. I know for the next three years, people that work for this company are gonna make millions. That can be you, it's that simple. All you have to do is have the courage to take action. All these people have these ideas and the people that execute get their dreams. The people that have ideas that don't execute don't get their dreams. So guys, down in the description box below, you're gonna go down to the YouTube video, you're gonna see a description box. It's gonna say, join our team. When you go to join our team, it's simple, you're gonna answer a couple questions, you're gonna send over a 60 second video, and then bam, you guys are with the team now. And then they'll personally reach out to you within the next 24 hours. If you're looking to change your life, if you're looking to earn more money than ever before, if you're looking for your way out like I was, like these guys were, this is your opportunity. Go down right now, click the link below, Let's get back to the video. Like you said, like we don't sell anything. We just help people. Exactly. Right. And by the way, we help people make a decision they already made. They exactly. made a decision they want to save money. They're already spending the money. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they want to save. They already made right. a decision that, hey, I want to save money. You knock on someone's door, you want to save money. They already made that decision. 100%. And you knock on their door, they're already using energy. Yep. It's not like, have you ever thought about using energy? It's like they're already using it. They're already paying someone. So they're, it's not like, hey, have you ever thought about paying for what you're using? They're already paying for it yep. and they want to save and they're using energy. It's like, dude, what are we talking about here? I honestly can't believe that this opportunity even exists. I know. But since it does exist, the question is, is what is the great organization and who are the greatest leaders? And you guys are younger, but your maturity is so high. You guys have like 45 year old brains. So this 45 year old can work with you guys and he respects you and looks up to you as 26 years old. And he's indebted to you because Absolutely. now his family, his wife, his kids, they all have a different life. And dude, he has a different life. Absolutely. Everything's changed for him. Yeah, you're you're hundred percent right, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Tim is like one of the many reasons that we started this company, just seeing people like him come in mm -hmm. and just be able to take over like their own life and just take control is it's all the difference in the world because yeah. like, that's what makes me so happy about just doing things like this is watching mm -hmm. people like Tim change their life. Another story that I want to share is a story of Ali. Ali is like his best friend, right? Okay. And Ali's one of my best friends now too. Just absolutely love that guy. But uh, when Ali first came in, um, he was all about the money, but he was, he was a little bit broke. Like he would always be hitting me up for fronts. He would always, he always needed more income to keep mm -hmm. himself afloat. And that wasn't because he wasn't a good producer. He mm -hmm. could always earn commissions, but he never learned to be smart with his income. Mm -hmm. Every time he got a check, it would fly out the window the next day. And one thing I love about Ali is I've watched people like him mature and just become super respons uh, a super responsible, responsible adult because he came in, he saw what I was doing, he saw what Will is doing, he stacked his paper, and now he bought his first house, he's buying a new car, That's he's crazy. got a beautiful girlfriend, like everything. Yeah, he just got a second so house in Kingman, he? Arizona. He's 26 like, as well. 25, 25 yeah, actually. So everybody yeah. think about this, 25, 26 years old. How many people, and I'm gonna say this, at 25, 26, has ever learned anything about money? Most of them have never Nothing. learned anything about money. 100%. Listen, I'm gonna tell you guys how to beat 95% of the world. Like 95%, you take them out immediately. Number one, work hard. Yeah, absolutely. Just work hard. If you just work hard, 95% of the people are beat automatically. Mm -hmm. Number two, learn about money. Okay, it's true. like I'm not asking 100%. you to go, put your money in the S&P 500 or go learn stocks and all this crap and CDs and whatever. I'm, I'm saying learn money, yep. like learn how to save money. You right. have to learn to make it. You also got to learn to keep it. And you got to learn how to multiply. And it. that's one thing that Omni does so well with the people who come in. Like I told you earlier, we're not just uh, a, a industry and a company for someone to come in and make a ton of money. We're the company that's going to show you what to do with that money. Cole and I invest in a ton of real estate. We bought six doors just this year between us two, mm -hmm. and we've now created systems to help our guys invest in that real estate with us. That's Take huge. their money right. and put it into assets mm -hmm. instead of just spending it on cars and clubs and bottle service and all these things that I spent my money on in my early 20s when yeah. I was in timeshare because I had no one to guide me. Yeah. So now we can be the ones to not only show these guys how to make hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, but more importantly, show them what to do with that money so they're set up for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. We're not just bringing people in Omni Power to make them a ton of money today. We're mm -hmm. trying to give them the skills, the resources, and set them up for the future so they can go Jeez. out and do whatever they want for the next 30, 40, 50 years for the rest of their life. Yeah, and that's the deal, like nobody cares. 
Like nobody, like people want people to produce, hit their numbers, and that's it. Yeah. Right. And you guys are looking for a family. Exactly. You know, I think that's big. So, number one, who's Tim? Right. Who who right now is watching this? You know, I don't care how old you are, 25, 35, 45. You know, you've done a salary job, right? You know, you and I'm just gonna say this, but you've sold your dreams for a salary, right? right? We see it all 100%. the time. Yeah. Um, and you know, the thought of sales, you're like, uh, that's not for me. Okay. Yeah. What about educating somebody? Can you be coached? Could you educate someone on something that was good for them? If you can do that, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Let's talk about Ali. Younger guy, you know, um, was always living above his means, couldn't save money. Mm -hmm. You know, I know a lot of people that make a lot of money, and all the money falls between their fingers. They can't keep any of it. So they just keep starting over constantly. It's miserable life. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You guys fixed and set him. So, who else out there right now? You know that there's responsibilities you need to learn, but you just never had a good leader. And then let's talk about, let's talk about like one of the girls. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. I'll bring up Minar. So yeah. Minar is the new girl that recently came in. She did, she had sales experience, but she didn't have the opportunity to capitalize on how skilled she actually is. Mm. The last company she was with kind of treated her like dirt, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They only would let her set. They would not let her close. And that was, she told us that was because she was a girl. And mm -hmm. I thought that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. No, I get it because, yeah. you know, most of the world, even though women are coming up and be they're badasses, and women are extremely good at sales. Oh yeah. Um, women are extremely good at communicating to people. Yep. They have a good intuition. They have great voices. They're good at communicating. You know, most of the time, somebody took advantage of someone in some area of life, and it was normally a male. So when there's a female present, like their presence is like ten times better than yeah, having that a male. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. It's yeah, the trust Absolutely. is through the roof. Yep. Um, but most of the people that run companies, they see women and they still are 20 years in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, so you guys see women as like, dude, you're a guy, you're a girl. I don't care. You want to work hard. You got a great attitude. You're hungry. Let's roll. Right. Yep. So let's talk about like Minar a little bit. 100%. So Minar, first off, she's an absolute beast. She had the skills when she came in. And like I said, she just didn't have the opportunity to capitalize on them. So mm -hmm. when we saw her and we saw what she was capable of, we immediately plugged her into our systems and she just took off. I think she popped 10 sales her first month with That's us. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, 12 sales in Colorado, uh, in Arizona in her mm -hmm. second month. So she's just on a roll, producing results over and over and over again. And that's because instead of limiting her, we actually put her in a position yeah. where she could capitalize yeah. on her skills. And that's what exactly what she did. And the thing I like about her so much is she's already talked. She's only been with us for two months. That's and crazy. she already talks about how much she loves this company and how she's going to be loyal for life. Right. Like literally. And that's she's only been with us for two months. So at the end of the day, we're hearing someone say that they love our company. They want to be with us for life. And Huge. we've already changed their life in such a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. I know she's serious about it. It's not like I asked her, hey, how are things going? at Omni, mm -hmm. she rushed, reached out to us and said, hey, like this is real and I'm doing this forever. And so that's what we love about well, her working with us is well, just her energy. Well, see, that's what I was going to say. Is yeah. that you guys have such a good culture that literally anybody coming into it, what would you say are some of the things that coming into y'all's culture that, listen, everybody wants to earn six figures. Yep. Everybody wants to earn mid six figures. You know, you talk about um, Tim. Tim's going to make a half a million dollars a year mm -hmm. um, and then work his way to a million. He's going to grow. Um, what are some qualities that you guys look for, right? Forget the industry. Yeah. Right. Right. Like what are some things that you guys look for together that you're like, if there was a recipe and you like had some of these things, like you would be perfect for our company. So the, be very the, successful. the three number one things I look for in every person that's joining our family, first thing is a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. I, negative people kill, right? Mm -hmm. Second thing is strong work ethic. And then the third thing is you have to be coachable. Mm. Those are, if I can see those three things in someone, I know that they're gonna be a great fit and we can, we can make something special out of them. If I see a red flag in one of those, there's some work to do. And if I see a red flag in two or more of those, probably not going to be a good fit for our family. So, and that's just the reality. So what does a strong mindset mean? Like, a strong mindset? Like if somebody's watching this, like what would that right, be? Right, absolutely. Discipline. Okay. Right? Discipline is 
probably the the number one thing that has changed my life. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're listening to my brothers right now talk about this level 10 earning opportunity, changing your life, being around awesome people, like all the things that it takes to be great and be successful. It is 2024, the time that we're shooting this. I know for the next three years, people that work for this company are gonna make millions. That can be you, it's that simple. All you have to do is have the courage to take action. All these people have these ideas and the people that execute get their dreams. The people that have ideas that don't execute don't get their dreams. So guys, down in the description box below, you're gonna go down to the YouTube video, you're gonna see a description box. It's gonna say, join our team. When you go to join our team, it's simple, you're gonna answer a couple questions, you're gonna send over a 60 second video, and then bam, you guys are with the team now. And then they'll personally reach out to you within the next 24 hours. If you're looking to change your life, if you're looking to earn more money than ever before, if you're looking for your way out like I was, like these guys were, this is your opportunity. Go down right now, click the link below, Let's get back to the video. Doing it. things that you don't want to do. My my mantra that I always tell myself every day is try to make your future self's life easier. Mm. Try to make your future self's life easier. What does that Huge. mean? Work out today so that you're not dying tomorrow and healthy. Eat healthier today, mm -hmm. right? Do more work today so you don't have to do that work tomorrow so your tomorrow self has more stuff more time to go do other things right always do the things today that's going to make your future self's life easier mm -hmm. and that right there is going to create such an unbeatable mindset that when you're out on the doors and people are telling you no right or you're out there for seven hours and you know you should be out there for eight but you got rejection all day having that discipline having that mindset having that mental strength will help you to push through when you're in house and someone tells you no six times and you got to fight through the seventh and eighth mm -hmm. you need that mindset that mental discipline to be able to be elite in this industry so that's why I look for that. 100%. And this guy's got the fucking best mindset you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's he does. the truth. <laughs> yeah, well, his attitude about life is just so good. Yep. And one of the things that I'll tell people, like being here, um, I was with a leader when I was younger, or a manager, really. And uh, he was so negative, man. Mm -hmm. He had such a shitty perspective. And that stuff rubbed off on me. Right. Yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't want it to. It's uh, impossible fact, not I made to. Fun of, I made fun of him in the beginning. I was like, dude, this guy's like cancer. Yeah. But after two months, I starts to just grow. like him yeah, and geez. i was like dude this is horrible and i didn't really understand it tomorrow i was like dude you're changing big time it happens and i'm like like what do you mean and i could already tell like i was becoming that guy and that's why i think it's so important who you surround yourself with may be the most important thing that you ever do in your life um you can't reach any levels of success or keep it and maintain it without being in the right circle with the right people you're a hundred percent right. And I'll yeah. give you an example of that story about me. I started my sales career in timeshare, right? Mm. And I made really good money at 20 years old. In my first six months, I went from making minimum wage at an acai bowl shop to making 106,000 in six months. Where were you at? Like, in uh, Sedona, Arizona. Oh, you were here yeah, Arizona. I was, I was yeah. up in Sedona, 20 years old doing timeshare. And I literally got recruited working at an acai bowl shop, quit on the spot drove to the resort, got hired, didn't even know what the job was, but I signed up because I heard I could make six figures. Yeah, and, yeah. and I'll tell you this, I went in that industry, I went in that company, I outworked everyone. These old fat dudes are sitting in their chair waiting for leads. Mm -hmm. I'm out in the street pulling people in eight hours a day. And that's why I broke every record there. I made a ton of money, but I did not have the right leaders. I was drinking every day with these guys. I was doing drugs. They were talking vulgar about women. It was a really toxic environment, yeah, just right? And around junk. Exactly. And because of that, I was making good money, but I wasn't leveling up as a human, mm. right? I was a single guy. I didn't have a lady who cared about me. I was wasting my money. I was drinking. I was living a life of vices. And as I transitioned to solar and as I started following people like you and Andy Priscilla and all these people that I wanted to be like and just on my road to becoming the most elite person ever, mm -hmm. I knew that I had to set a standard at our company, at our family for Jeez. other people to know that you should not just make a ton of money, but you should be the absolute best person you can in every yeah. year. And if not, exactly. you're failing. You're failing miserable, miserably. Yeah. And that's why in Timeshare, I learned such a valuable lesson that you can have all the money in the world but if you don't treat other people right, if you don't take care of yourself, and if you don't set the, set the standard for people around you, you're a failure. And that's why my mission in Omni Power has not just been to make a ton of money, not just been to make other people a ton of money, mm -hmm. but make individuals the best people they can be. That's it, that's the mission right there. And if people on all levels, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, if they truly are tapped into being the best human they can, they will have whatever life they want. That's facts. Well, and plus being happy. Right. right. You know, like I'm asking, you know, do you ever hear anybody talk about being happy anymore? 
not not often. enough. It's not, not a really. focus. But yeah. Every podcast you turned on, everybody's talking about how much money you can make. Right. Right. I mean, everybody's just talking about a bunch of blah 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 blah. It's true. Right. Like, dude, you guys are happy. Yeah, that's true. Like, have you ever thought about that? That's yeah, true. He's trying to give you a pound. Again. My yeah. guy. There we yeah. go. <laughs> but, but like, but like, yeah, I see you guys, guy. and I just like observe. Right. And I've seen you guys a hundred times. Right. So, but I see you guys are happy. Yeah. And nobody's happy anymore. No, that's true. That's a really you know, good point. Think about this. Let's say there was another company you could go join, hypothetically, no matter what industry it was in, and you could make the same money, but you weren't happy. Well, that sucks. Of course. It yeah. still sucks. That's yeah. awful. Um, you know, what if their core values weren't right? Right. It didn't help you become a better human being. And anybody that was in your life, you couldn't build good relationships with them because you didn't like who you were because right. you didn't have anybody good to be around you to help yourself set the standard. That, again, is another big problem. No, and that, right. that's why, like, when we built the Elliott Group, we were like, okay, um, we're going to live by the code, by the standard that we always wanted to live by. And, dude, when you said, like, hey, did drugs, did it wrong, drinking, partying, right, yeah. you know, saying stupid shit all the time. Dude, I had to do that to know that I didn't want to do that no exactly. more. Exactly. You know, yeah. so when people hear that, they're like, oh, I, I don't like these guys. No, no, no. People that are the greatest leaders on planet Earth did it wrong so that now they know how to do it right. Exactly. Yeah, no one knows how to do it right. If they, I mean, because first of all, we help broken people for a living. Right. When our team's struggling, we know how to pick them up and help them because we're entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs solve problems. And we solve our own problems so we can solve other people's problems. 100%. And so the more that we've been through, the more adversity that we've been through, the more that we're able to understand our people when they have trouble and struggles. And we're like, hey, man, that ain't a big deal, dude. Come on. We're, you know, we're, we're going to push through that. That's gone. We're going to get past that. 100%. You know, but a lot of people, man, that's not the way life works. There's this fairy tale, fairy tale like unicorn life, right? And you guys actually have built it. And we built it at the Elliott Group too, and I think that's why we're so close. That because you guys believe in these standards, you guys believe in core values, you guys believe in being freaking happy. Yeah, absolutely. Like you believe in um, earning money. I mean, dude, whether somebody's watching this, you're like, oh, I don't want to hear about all this money talk. Like, you you need money. It's super important. I mean, there's somebody you want to help, right? Yep. Okay, cool. We can't help them if you don't have any money. That's right. true. There's somebody you got to take care of. We can't take care of them if you don't have any money. I mean, there's things that you want to do in life. You can't do those things if you don't have any money. And by the way, money is just a byproduct of being helpful to people. Yeah. You know, money, right? you get paid in exact value, in exact proportion how much value you bring people. That's a fact. That's, that's 100% yeah. what I believe my entire, my entire career in sales. And that's why in Timeshare, I got paid a lot less because I wasn't bringing value to people. Yeah. Solar is such an incredible product, right? Like, forget the money. You are saving people from inflation. You are saving people from a utility company that has a complete monopoly over them, right? So if you're not wanting to get into solar because of the money, great, get into solar to save people, get into solar for the movement, get into solar to leave a legacy mm -hmm. on your name that you did something that mattered on this planet. Yeah, and when he says monopoly, I wanna explain this to everybody. Um, when people buy a property, because these are homeowners 99% of the time, and they're, they're or most probably 100% of the time, but, yeah. they're, but yeah. they're homeowners, right? And they buy a house, and when they buy the house, they sign all their papers, they get the keys, they go to the property, and at the time that that other person is leaving, or if it's a brand new home, there's no electricity because it's been turned off, or it's getting turned off, or it's never had it, so you have to plug in to turn my energy on. And everybody's right. known in certain areas of what energy company is in that county. You get one choice. Yeah, that's it. That's what he means by monopoly. There's one choice. So it's like, we use... SRP energy. And then so what happens is people are like, oh, got to call SRP. Got to get the energy turned on. Yep. And they turn the electric on. And what they don't understand is that there is a secondary energy option. There was two, not one. There was two. But the, the other one isn't really talked about a lot. So the homeowners aren't aware of it. So that's what we meant by being educational. We yep. just educate people that, look, inflation's going up. And you can beat inflation if you have your own system. And people don't know that. And then if they did hear it, they'd say, well, tell me more about that. Exactly. And then you explain it to them. It makes sense. People are using it now. And then there's a certain limitation of how many people in per zip code, per area, per county that can actually get solar. Correct. And then they're cut off and the grid's maxed out in that area and no one can get it anymore. So right now, these it's a, we're calling it the solar boom. I'm kind of trying to explain it. You, you, you're building these amazing teams and they're going around and helping all these homeowners so they don't get taken advantage of, which they already are. 
and they just don't know it because no one has educated them. Exactly. Yeah, that's so why we have to go to their door. That's it. And yeah. so people are like, oh, door to door salesman, you're not selling candy bars. You're going there and you're just talking about something they're already currently using. And you're saying, hey, if there was a secondary energy option in which you would qualify for that would allow you to save money and be inflation proof, would you mind if we told you about it? And then in the end, it's your decision. They say, yeah. And you get a utility bill, you show them how it works. And most of them, when they look at it, they're like, holy crap, how does this work? And they just do it and it saves them money and they love it. And you get paid big commission checks. You're with a great company, you're happy. You know, you don't have to come in and, and, and work out, but he's like, hey, dude, I want like people to like themselves. I want mental mental health to be a part of y'all's company. Like your your mental uh, fitness, you know, like here. Yeah, yep. kind well, of it rubs off on the others. It has to tie into your, mental, your physical fitness a little bit. 100%. And so you want people to get, you know, get to get momentum going, to exercise, to exactly. get moving. Um, and it makes them better for their family, it themselves. Does. It gives them more energy, puts them in a better mood. 100%. You know, like, you know, so I, I, I love all the core values that they stand for. And um, there's not many companies that are actually um, doing this. But you're on the front line with your guys uh, yeah. all the time. Um, when someone joins, I want to ask this question because this, this is a good question. People are like, you know, what, like, how long does it take for me to get paid? You know, like if I joined, like, how do I know that I'll be successful? Like, let's say I, 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 I click the link below, I, I filled out my information, I went and I joined y'all's team. You know, what does that look like? Yeah, absolutely. So the nice thing about OmniPower is we have spent years developing the systems, the training, and the processes to allow an individual who has work ethic, a positive mindset, mm -hmm. and who's coachable to come in and get their first sale within one to two weeks, Jeez. which means they're making $5,000 within one to two weeks right then and there. From that point, they're gonna be mentored by either me, Tim, Ali, Kevin, someone who has put up six, seven figures in this industry, they're gonna have them as their personal one-on-one -on -one mentor so to show them how they're gonna to get to the point of making that same income. Yeah. So we've again created a system to take someone who just has to have a positive mindset, mm -hmm. be coachable and have good work ethic and guarantee that they'll have success. And that's why our whole motto is taking dedicated individuals and turning them into successful ones. Because yeah, that so is exactly holds what we your do. Hand. Exactly. Yeah, that's super cool, man. Yeah, well, um, we're there for them the whole way, you know, all the way from the, the day they get their first sale to the day they reach that six figures to the day they reach that seven figures. We're always upholding each other and keeping each other accountable. Now, some people, they're, they're young, they're 18, 19, they're getting out of high school. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Those people can join. It seems that those people do very well. They're young, they have, you know, energy, they're ready to make a name for themselves. That's one example. Some are people that have tried salary jobs for a long time. They've never gotten ahead, kind of like Tim. Yep. Yep. And they're like, dude, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to retire if I keep playing this game. Remember I said you got to understand money. Yeah, it's um, true. I'm never going to escape this life. Right? right. So they make changes, and they do very well because the way that you guys have your systems and processes. Exactly. Um, another deal, let's talk about like underdogs. Right, because I'm an underdog, right? Yeah, um, so was know, I. Our yeah, company's full underdog. of underdogs. Okay, so the whole company's we love full the underdogs. of underdogs. So yeah. Yeah. let's talk about that a little bit, right? Like, you don't have to have an, a license. Like, I got a buddy that he sells real estate. You got to have a real estate license. Yep. I got a buddy that sells insurance. He's got to have an insurance license. You don't have to have a license to sell solar. Um, I've got a buddy of mine. He's a great guy. Ten years ago, he got in some trouble. He had a felony. And, you know, he wanted to sell insurance, but he couldn't sell insurance because he had a felony. Damn. Yeah. You know, it's like they just, they won't allow you, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, but with solar, he didn't, it didn't matter because, like, it's 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 not regulated that way, right, with the, the licensing. Right, there's not, like, a permit that you need yeah, to Yeah, there's get. not a permit. Yeah, exactly. And literally, he's such a great guy. You Nobody could ever guess this guy had ever had a felony, which is right. normally how underdogs work. 100%. Nobody would ever know that that guy had been through that stuff. But the reason why he's so great is because he had been through that stuff. So that's why he's so great because he's so grateful and appreciative of being a good person now. Yeah. Exactly. You know, um, but but now he's making, you know, 50 grand, 100 grand a month and he's killing it. And he's an underdog and, you know, he had a felony. So you could be young. You could be tired of a salary. You know, there's a lot of people right now that are honestly, and I'm going to say this because um, this is what's exciting. Um, they wake up on a screen. They go to bed on a screen. I mean, yeah. I'm talking phones here. Yep. Yeah. Um, they're numb. Yeah. They're in a cloud. 
Okay, I'm barely making enough money to pay my bills. Most people. I go out here, I go out there. I mean, I'm like, I'm like, it's like Groundhog Day repeating for years. Yeah. Yeah. You're burned out in your job. The reason why you're burned out is because you have no purpose. Yep. When you guys have someone join your company and your team, you give them a new purpose. Exactly. You literally help them recreate their identity. You help them recreate their beliefs. You help them work through their strongholds. But all they have to do is be willing to be a hard worker, be coachable, and have a great mindset. That's it. Yeah, and absolutely. All those people qualify. Right. And, and and like you said, the underdog, the guy who maybe has a negative bank account right now, maybe has struggled with alcohol problems, isn't in shape, but he has those things you just said, the positive mindset, the coachability, and the mm -hmm. work ethic. That guy is the exact person we're looking for. Because guess what? That was me, right? I was, I was not a great person kid when I was 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. I drank a lot. I partied. I did all the things that weren't great. But now I haven't had a drink in nine months. I don't do any drugs. I don't party. I have the most amazing girl that I've been with for five years that we're committed for life. So You're on fire. It, ab absolutely. My whole life has changed. But I was once where some of these people are right now. And all it takes is to change your environment. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to change that environment for those people that want to change. Dude, that's good. 100%. Yeah. So anybody watching this right now, super important number one if anything that has been said to this point you're like dude i need that in my life okay if you want to be close to me because like that's these are my boys you'll be close to me how, how far do you guys live from me 20 minutes 20 minutes not yeah. far at all you guys live 20 minutes away okay they do sales meetings right here in our company all the time we, we love their team we talk to each other we train we do all we're brothers okay absolutely if, if you're wanting to join this amazing company if you're looking for a level 10 earning opportunity i call it level 10 because it means like it's like you know when i was in automotive sales i could say there was no cap but like i sold 70 to 80 cars a month like so the average car salesman in america sells eight right yeah so if i'm selling 70 to 80 most i ever made was 800 grand selling cars and you know i watched some of these sales people make millions absolutely and, you know it, it, it's there's so much more spread more market more 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 pay and most solar people are amateurs and it's you guys true. train them so it's like it's it really true. unfair because when your guys go into the field since everybody's an amateur your guys are trained because your processes they just do so well and if there's been an amateur at somebody's house and then a pro comes through it's like everybody buys from the pro 100 exactly. right so it's like it makes it it's actually they're making it easier on y'all's company to sell more business yeah um but like I honestly will tell you, like, level 10 earning opportunity means, honestly, no cap. No cap. Um, you know, you're in a beautiful state of Arizona. You literally have palm trees. We have mountains. It's gorgeous. We love it. We have a couple months of, of winter through the year, and our winter are still wearing shorts. Yeah, you know, it's, it's beautiful it's 60 out degrees. Here. It's beautiful <laughs> Most outside. solar guys take winter off. We yeah. work even twice as hard during the winter because it's beautiful outside. Yeah. You can knock even longer, you know? So it's like, why yeah, not it's, take it's advantage It's totally of it? crazy. Yeah. Uh, beautiful people. Lots of opportunity. I mean, Scottsdale's like the new LA almost, right? Exactly. It's like just cool stuff. It's like one of the easiest ways to change your life, two ways to change your life. Number one, set a new tone. You gotta set a new tone around everybody. There's a good chance you're gonna, you're gonna have to get rid of 95% of people in your life right That's now. That's true. So you gotta set a new tone. It's gonna piss everyone off. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna have to start cutting people. And then everybody's gonna be pissed off for you and you live there. Or number two, just move away. We have more people right now that are moving away and just joining y'all's company than ever before. They're just moving away. Yep. Yeah. And then they come in, they make good money, they change their life. You're around us. They see like, oh my God, this is crazy. I don't see any negativity. Nobody's betting against me. Yep. People are cheering me on. I got training. You know, it's like, damn, dude. Yeah. Like, why didn't I do this earlier? Makes 100%. sense. I'm glad you brought up the moving away. It makes me think of our guy named Matt. I was just right? going to say that. That's yeah, hilarious. for real. Yeah. He moved out from Kentucky. Mm -hmm. This guy's a Kentucky boy. You know, he's got his long hair. He talks like he's from Kentucky, and we absolutely love the guy. because oh, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's just a good guy, and he's full of positive energy. And when he came out here, like, the environment that he was in, arm and a leg different yeah. than being in Scottsdale, Arizona, yeah. and that's the truth. But what he did is he took advantage of the opportunity, and he took advantage of the environment. He never moved back. Like, he literally moved out here with the plan to just work with us for a month and sure. see how it goes. Yeah. And he's he now lives in the house that we own up yeah. in Kingman, Arizona. Well, well, because you don't know what you don't know. Right. He's yeah. got his lady out there. He's yeah. building teams out there. The guy's changing his whole life. He's It's it's amazing to well, see. Well, the deal is, is that I'm going to say this, that 95% of the people that are watching this, they live in a bubble. Yeah. 
right? And if you're in a bubble, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's like true. you have no idea what the hell's going on. Um, talking about an insurance company for a minute, there's a guy that is here. You know, I have an insurance company yeah. with Bradley. It's called Real Financial Insurance. Yep. Yep. And I recruited um, a guy that did a swipe up back when Instagram had swipe ups mm, about yeah. a year and a half ago. He did a swipe up to join um, the Real Financial uh, sales team. And it was virtual, kind of. And he was, and I, he asked me, he goes, man, I want to be the best. And I said, well, if you want to be the best, pack your shit, get in your car and yeah, move out you got to move out here. Yeah. And he's like, well, I live in Pennsylvania. I just got a new lease, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I said, listen to me, if you want to really change, if you don't ask me, I always ask people, do you really want to know? They're like, yes. And I'm like, okay. Cause I moved out here and changed my life. So like people need to understand that I'm not giving advice. I didn't do myself. I didn't grow up here. I moved here four years ago in the last four years we built a nine figure business. It's like, come on, man. It's like the shit works. Yeah, you know? it does. If you, if you don't see old landmarks, if you don't run into people you used to know, if no one knows who you are, you can be whoever the hell you want to be. You can recreate your identity and become a brand new person. Yeah. And so Tyler, he goes, so you're telling me pack my shit, get in my car and leave. Yeah. I go, yes, that's what I'm telling you. And he did. He traveled from two days from Pennsylvania, came down here, took him about four months to kind of learn how to sell insurance. Cause in the beginning, you know, it's like, I'm not saying you can't be good at it. Cause I know there's people that make good money, but, but you know, it took him a little bit of time to learn how to do it. Um, this case isn't this way for most people, but he started making about a hundred thousand a month selling insurance. That's crazy. I watched your podcast with him a lot you see yesterday. It? He's yeah. still here. Yeah. Now he was never in shape, never worked out. Now he's with his dream girl, right? And his dream girl is a coach that works for me, Selena. Nice. Selena and him are together. So he found an Elliot army girl. Right? He's a dude and he works for Real Financial. He doesn't work for Elliott Army. He works for Real Financial, but Got he it. is Elliott. He wears an Elliott shirt everywhere he goes. But he's just on the insurance side. He's running marathons now. He's doing Ironmans now. Jeez. He just did an Ironman two days ago. He's, he's doing this shit constantly now. He's obsessed with pushing his limits. But before he came out here, he always, I always ask him, like, Tyler, what happened when you moved out here? He goes, You popped my bubble, bro. He's like, I don't even. Yeah. He goes, I didn't even understand. He's like, when you were telling me move, first I thing I did, I was like, oh my God, what's he talking about? And I'm like, bro, that's like, if you are like, wait, what? It's like, that's the first sign you need to do it. 100%. 100%. It's that illogical decision, exactly. you know, like the all resistance. these people, they're just, they, it doesn't make sense on paper to move out of your hometown, leave your lease, leave everything behind. But like making that jump when you don't want to make the jump or when your body's telling you no and your family's telling you no and everyone is mm -hmm. freaking telling you no, that's when it's most important to do exactly. it. It's the facts because that jump is usually the pivot for most people's life. And most people don't even get that pivot because they literally just never made the jump in the fucking first place. Yeah, and it's called resistance, Yeah, right? Like there's this thing that lives inside of you and it's called resistance. It never sleeps, it hates you. It's not your friend. It wants you, it doesn't like you, it doesn't like anyone. Right. I really call it the devil. David Goggins calls it the bitch voice. <laughs> yeah, like it, it tries to just yeah. stop you from ever winning or becoming great or finding. And if you listen to it, you will let life pass and you'll wonder, why didn't I ever do that? Yeah, you'll right. always be safe. Yeah, that's like most people. Yeah. Like how many times do you hear on these like motivational YouTube videos at the end? It's like, don't be sitting on a bedpan one day in a nursing home saying, I wish I would have. hundred percent. Because that's where most people are going. And people go, well, I got people that count on me here. Bro, it's sad that you think so small. No. There's a whole world that's counting on you. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And by the way, at the end of the day, I'm going to say one last thing here. When you decide to change, which change is really AKA grow, when you decide, decide, decide to grow, most people aren't going to like it. And yeah. there's going to be resistance. And all these people right now that are your friends, that are your buddies, that you're like, oh, I can't leave these people behind. They don't give a fuck about you. It's true. Okay. And you'll learn, okay, because one day you're going to do something, you're going to make a mistake, and all those people are going to be fair weather fans. They're like, oh, yeah, I don't like him because he did that. Yep. Those people were never with you. Agreed. Those people were with you as long as you stayed in that little box that they put you in and those little boundaries they put on you. As long as you stay in those boundaries, they're completely okay. But when you get outside of them, they get pissed off. 100%. Yep. They start talking shit. The, the, the crickets start chirping. And when you get close to them, usually they get quiet. Yeah, they just don't understand it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you move away, though, like the life that we see is so freaking crazy. And I think that a lot of people, they are so 
afraid of change when really change is what they need. Mm -hmm. And when I moved out here, it changed my whole life. Um, I had to leave Oklahoma to come to Scottsdale. And I was like, dude, this is crazy. When the guy moved from Kentucky to here, he's oh, yeah. like, fuck Kentucky. You know? <laughs> but when he was in Kentucky, you would have tried to tell him and he'd have been like, yeah, I hear you, but you know, he doesn't know. But now right. that you know, it's like you can't unsee exactly. this. That was like me, dude. I moved from California and I dropped everything. I had a girl out there I was dating, all my best friends, the family that I used to be close with, everyone. Mm -hmm. And now, dude, because of where I'm where, at. Where are they at now? I don't talk to any of them. Even the family out there doesn't talk to me because they're all alcoholics, drinkers, unhealthy, and they don't support any of this new lifestyle that I've lived. But guess what? I have a new family. It's Omni Power, yeah. and that's all I need because they, those people, they carry the same exact mission that I carry. Well, you have an obligation now. You're in a relationship with a girl for five years. She's exactly. Your, exactly. She's your family. Well, yeah. she's Omni Power too. Exactly. That's the other thing yeah. we love. Like you know, Cole, Cole's girl, my girl, our families. We we brought them into Omni Power. It's not just a, a company. It truly is a family. We yeah, have our family. families in it. We have our guys' families in it. Mm -hmm. Just like at the Elliott Group, we bring mm -hmm. people in. Someone in our guys' family needs a job. We're gonna find a position for them because this truly is our family. Yeah. 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 And you can't fake it. Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. We live together. We yeah. work out together. We yeah. sleep together. We eat together. We do everything together. We do these podcasts together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I always tell people, they're like, "Is that a cult?" I'm like, yeah. <laughs> "Could be. It could be." Yeah, but hey, and then I'm is, like, I'm "Well, like if yep. if a cult is where people push each other to get better, you know, constantly, you know, encourage each other to raise their standards, get in good shape, get healthier, and make more money. All right, it's a fucking cult. Then you can call Fuck it that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I mean, it's it's whatever you want to see. You yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, but I do believe that you're, the people that you're around will be who you become. And I believe that you do got to learn a lot of things in life to change your life. You got to learn about money. You got to learn about hard work. You got to learn about taking risks. Um, I think you got to learn sales in order to have a life that you never dreamed you could have. Um, this is the easiest sales job on planet Earth. You got to be around a great organization because you want to make sure you're around good people. You want to get paid. You want your family around good people. Um, you want to believe in something. You want to have a career. People don't talk about that a lot, but like this is a career. Absolutely. It is. Yeah. Okay, it's not a seasonal job. It's not a game. It is a career. It's a physical career. Um, and then I, I think lastly, it's total self-development. So like in the company, the better that you get, the more you change, the more you develop, the more you earn. If you want to earn five times more, you just get five times better. That's it. And since you're in a company that everybody's just talking about getting better every day, well, man, it's pretty hard to be depressed in an environment like that. It's pretty hard to not be successful in an environment like that. And really, most environments, people, they negatively peer pressure people to do, like, hey, don't work hard. Hey, you don't have to do that. Hey, it's okay to complain. Yeah, that person is a piece of shit. Right. You know, like, oh, yeah, let's go do drugs. Let's go have a beer. Right. You know, you guys are like positive peer pressure. Like, yeah. hey, you know, let's study tonight. Yeah. Hey, let's be good to each other. Hey, you know, let's take care of each other. Let's go work out. You know, hey, let's go work some extra hours so we yep. can make some more money and go on a great vacation. Uh, let's go buy your second house, your third house, your fifth house. Let's go buy your mama house. Yep. Yep. Like that's positive peer pressure. That's good shit. But I will tell you when, when, when you think about selling solar, when you think about it, people think, ah, oh, sounds unattractive. And I'm going to say this because most people have no idea and they've spoke to someone or talked to someone that worked for some company that told them some story. Well, whatever you guys heard, whatever you guys think, with this company, it's all wrong. I would tell you, if you're looking for a level 10 earning opportunity, if you're looking for a great organization, if you're looking for a family, if you're looking to make more money than you know what to do with, you go to look at, just go to your ATM account right now. Pull, go take five bucks out so you can just look at your slip and look at it and be like, this is horseshit. This is not, I have not given three, five years for this crap. Okay, cool, make a decision. Make the change now, okay? All you guys gotta do is go down to the description box, click on the link, answer some questions, send a little video over, in the next 24 hours, they'll reach out to you. Absolutely. Anything you guys wanna say, and we'll finish it out? One thing I just wanna say to anyone who's looking at this is, Omni Power is not just a place that's gonna allow you to become rich, but it's gonna be the place 
for you to show other people how they can become successful. And that right there is the most fulfilling thing that you'll ever have in life is teaching others how to be successful. That's it. Being this, being the example. Exactly. And that's what, that's what drives me every day. When I don't want to get out of bed, when I don't want to go to the gym, when I want to eat an unhealthy meal, I just think of all the people relying on me and all the people that look up to me and I can never lose as long as I'm fighting for them. Ooh, and let's add something and we'll finish on this. Everybody who who are you proving wrong? Love Everybody it. has someone right now that said, oh man, that person, ain't, you ain't gonna be shit, bro. You're never gonna amount to anything. I know who you are. Okay, this is an opportunity for you to prove them right. Keep doing what you're doing. Go ahead, fast forward five years from now. Same experience, the same people, same information. You're gonna be doing the same shit. Okay, if that isn't where you wanna be, you just proved everybody right. Everything they said about you, they were absolutely right. But if you make this jump and you're like, dude, screw this, man. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. That's who we're looking for. Absolutely. We're looking for the people that want to prove everybody wrong. And if that's you, we're going to give you your opportunity right now. And we'll let you borrow the courage to do it. Once you commit, we won't let you fail. Okay? So we love you guys. Kick ass. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure if you're an action taker, if you're ready for your next life, if you want to be close to me, if you want to kill it here, guys, click the link below and let's kill it. I let's appreciate go. you guys, man. Let's make it happen. Bro. Here we go. I'm <laughs> trying to get over, over this. The mic. All right, guys. See you soon. Let's go. My hands steady. I feel ready, but my legs heavy. I don't. Hey, guys. I just want to tell you the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. You'll be not a conscious bitch. That's the consequence. I got this. I will not quit.